Exactly. That wasn't fair what you just did to that kid. Okay, fine. It wasn't fair what you did to him. You can blame you can blame me all you want. I'm not blaming you, Howard. You I'm mad You're right now me. and I'm fucking arguing. But you're blaming me. Okay. And I resent that. No, I just what did I just tell you? I said I'm not to be trusted. Who's that arguing for? Me or you? Well, th this is new information. You okay. just said to me, I prodded and pushed you into this. I did not. Right. You, Somebody you, you, just said to me, Artie was yelling at Teddy in the hall. I go, all right. So why wouldn't you go why wouldn't you go? Artie's a little out of control sometimes. Let's let's stay away from that. No. I no, would. no, because you, you gotta want be in this. control. You want this, no, Howard. I don't. Yes, you I do. did not want that, dude. Come on. You can t you think you know me, but I did not want that. No, I don't know you, dude. I'm I don't. A, I, you don't. And you don't know me either, evidently. No, but so but, but I play around with you don't but, know. But your job is to stay under control. I'm, and then I can't do you my job. You cannot throw people. You cannot. I can't throw guarantee people. you. I will not do that again. All right. Well, then you can't be here. Then I won't be here anymore. Yeah. You can't, Art. Okay. You can't act that Howard, way in I business. I love you, but I can't do it anymore. Yeah, okay. I'm an out-of-control person. Uh, all right. Then that, then you can't be here. I, if you can't control throwing things I to resign. people. I resign. I'm sorry. I can't do it anymore. Then I accept. Art, I did a terrible thing, but you can't throw things at people. I here. love you, Howard. I love you, too. I don't know why you have to throw things at people. I can't guarantee I'm not going to do that again. But you've got to. All right. It's not fair. No one who works here wants to be thrown, I, you know, get stuff thrown. I understand. And they shouldn't rob my money. I don't think, listen, that's an accusation between you and Teddy. Teddy says he doesn't feel he's robbing your money. That's between you guys. And if you said to me, Howard, listen, I have a beef with Teddy, I'd help you with it. All right. I Why would I? You, I'd, cook, I'd call you off the air and go to yeah. hell. You don't want to talk to anybody off the air. I talk Why to you would I bother time. you with I've that? Called you, I've called you many times. Why would I bother you with my problems with Teddy? This is. I'm sorry I started yelling at him in the hall and brought it into your world. I didn't mean to do that, but it, we have issues here. at the. You heard me argue, but so I you did, brought it into I your didn't world. Hear you I would never call you off the air to bug you about Teddy. you got two million things on your mind. You know me, but I would never do that. I don't call you to bother you with the issues I have with money or anything. I'm not going to bug you about my issues with Teddy. But Teddy's a kid. Uh, right. he's no, he's a not kid. such a kid anymore. He's like 30. All right, but I'm saying, you're his boss. If you hate the not way anymore. he's behaving... Okay, but if you hate He'll the... He'll probably sue me now because he's hurt emotionally. Well, no, he's, I don't think that, that it got uh, to that. But the fact that... Pussy the... generation. I'm not a good person, Howard. Yes, you are. I'm Stop not. with that. I got to leave, buddy. All right. I gotta leave. Okay. Fair enough. I love you. I love you too. Uh, I love you. Uh -huh. Why don't you just go take it easy in the green room and then we'll talk, okay? You don't have I to leave. I think he should go home. Yeah. All right. He's got to go calm down. And I think the home is where he needs to be right now. <sighs> that was awful. That was just awful. And no, I wasn't looking for that. <laughs> I'm, I'm fascinated when people have an argument. Yes. But I'm not looking for people to start throwing shit at each other and calling each other ripoffs and all of that. I did not know it would escalate to that. Uh, yeah, I love airing uh, dirty laundry if people are willing to come in and do it. But I'm not looking to push anybody. And, uh, you know, I love Artie on this show more than anything. But I, I you know, listen, if people are going to throw shit at each other, I, you know, or Artie's going to throw stuff, I can't, I, can't, I can't allow that. I can't put people in danger. And I, you know, I don't know what that is. Yeah. It's depressing. You think, uh... Oh, no, we got Benji. Benji, no. what, please? <laughs> now he's still using his ticket to Amsterdam? What? what? Uh, come on. It's a bummer. That was just a bummer. I'm bummed out. It's, it's... I know you're trying to make light of it, but... No, it's not light. I mean, I, it's something's, something's going on. Yeah. Well... What do you say, Robin? I'm I'm speechless. That was just not pretty. It's not fun or funny when, yeah. you know, people take things to that level. If you can't just have a even a heated conversation without going to that place, you know, then you can't just let it fly. Right. You know, that's the whole point. You know, Artie's made it clear. You can't just let it fly. As far as I knew, Artie and Teddy had huge affection for each other. I really thought so. But he can have huge affection and still launch something across the right. room at you. I'm sure he does love Teddy. He wouldn't keep him. He's telling you, I love him so much, I can't fire him even though I don't like the job he does. But uh, yeah, I'm just saying that my impression was, oh, these guys are having a little quarrel. Let's find out what's going on. I don't have any clue that these guys are going to go. But some of the most emotional issues yeah. for people are money. Yeah, I and guess so. that's why I was 
Like, you know, you know, now Teddy, and he was saying, he argues with me in a way that I really hate. Yeah. Who was saying that, Artie? Artie. Oh. About Teddy. I see. Gee, I thought that, you know, these guys travel together every weekend. I thought they're good bros. But, you know, sometimes bros kill each other. I guess so. <laughs> I so. really, I was really under the impression that Artie and Teddy had this great affection for one another. I really, I really did. That's not, I'm not saying they don't. I'm simply saying Artie can't, you know, he's, he's a guy. And at a certain point, he's the kind of guy where words run out. Yeah, I, I really don't know from that behavior. I'm shocked. I have had people work for me who I am really not happy with, let's say. And I know that feeling, like I don't want to fire them. I feel bad for them in that. And I get it, and, and the anger builds up. Mm -hmm. But I've never gotten to the level where I've had to go attack someone or, you know, or threaten to attack someone. No, but you can talk forever. Already gets to a certain point where, all right, I'm out of words. I can't express my anger in any other way. No. Yeah. Ed, Dominic, you're on the air. Well, first of all, you don't have to be Dr. Ablo to know it's got nothing to do with Teddy. I mean, please. It's well, yeah, anger. I know that. I no, know it's that. a pet. I mean, that's, that's kind of obvious, but... Right. Uh, you know, I was trying to make a joke, but I, for a moment, as a listener and a fan, it sounded like like someone could got killed. Yeah, someone, someone could have gotten, gotten really. Wall. It could have really gotten out of hand. It was crazy. It was crazy, and and uh, and I really don't know what to say about it other than I'm very very deeply upset and depressed. And unfortunately, and, it wasn't just between Artie and Teddy because when it could have been the people who tried to get between Artie and yeah. Teddy that could have gotten hurt. But on the other hand, this is just Artie's illness right now, which has to be dealt with. It's no excuse, but we, we all love him and we all worry about him. But I have to tell you, he's got First of all, he can't go to Amsterdam tonight. That's the most ridiculous thing of all. Yeah, I hope he doesn't go. See, I, you know what? I'm going to just hang up. I'm, I'm, I'm actually depressed. But I'm yeah, I am too. I am, I'm bummed out. That was a bummer for me. And right, I'm sure it was a bummer for Teddy and Artie. And, uh... Yeah, because yeah, he's going to feel like shit now. Because he always does after these right. things occur. Yeah, he is. Yeah, I know he likes Teddy. I know he does. I just know it. Well, he likes everything. He likes this job. He likes this show. He, likes, he doesn't like doing that to you. And he's going to be beating himself up the rest of the day. This is a, a syndrome. So now he gets to be miserable more than he was this morning. I hope he's all right. We, we, I hope Teddy's okay. We, Where is Teddy? Is Teddy okay? We should make sure someone's with him. He's a suicide. He's in a suicidal kind of. Well, way, I, I don't so. know that that's the case. Well, I think I it's very possible, and I think we should make sure someone's with him right now. With who? Teddy? With Artie. I, I, I mean, I feel bad for, well, for Teddy, but Artie's supposed sort to be of with Artie. Rage. <laughs> yeah. Oh, sh well, well, Teddy's got his passport now. I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know how to make that happen. How do I get somebody with Artie? Where is Artie? I, I don't know. But I, I really, I mean, he's like in a rage right now that I think he could really hurt himself. Well, if that's the case, why don't you go okay. find him? Why didn't you follow him? Go find him. Go find I don't know how to find Artie. I mean, I'm sure he's going home. Maybe his mom could go over.